Hello everyone, welcome to the full course online. In this video, we are going to dive into the world of Scroopy. The spelling is S-C-R-C-P-Y. Let's get started. Open your web browser. And type S-C-R-C-P-Y. The software is available for download on the GitHub website. Click on the link. Scroll downward. There is an introduction to Scrappy. At the time of recording this video, the version is 3.2. There are some features about its lightness, performance, quality, or resolution. And other features, it is an open source software. There are some prerequisites to installing this software. Your Android operating system should be above 5.0. USB debugging should be enabled. We will learn how to enable USB debugging in order to get the app for Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. Click on the relevant operating system. In our case, we are going to install it on Windows, so click on Windows. Both 64-bit and 32-bit versions are available. Click on your desired files. As I have a 64-bit operating system, I'm clicking on the first option. And the download has started. And completed. It is a small zip folder. Go to the download location. And unzip the folder. Open the folder. Run this scrape eye. Allow access. Now we are going to take you to the mobile phone screen. Click the gear icon on your mobile phone to access the phone settings. Look for About Phone, Software Information, and then Build Number. You have to tap the Build Number entry seven times to enable debugging mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now you can see there is a message. Developer mode has been turned on. Go back to the settings section. And now you can find developer options under the About Phone entry. Open that. Look for USB debugging. You can see it now. Switch on the USB debugging. It is asking me whether to allow USB debugging. Click on OK, and this process is complete. Now, take a USB cable and connect your mobile phone to your PC or laptop. OK. Now again I am on my PC. Double click the app folder. If you are asked to allow access to phone data, click on allow, Otherwise, you will not be able to access your phone from your PC. And that's it. Your mobile screen appears on your computer. In the next video, we will learn how to mirror multiple mobile devices. So keep in touch with us, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Thank you.